Welcome to another video of Glass of Bubbly where we are looking at trophy and medal winning wines from the 2020 Glass of Bubbly Awards and this time it is the fireworks category. Now we didn't get any bronze medals this last year so we're going to start off with the silvers of which we've got two. We've got four golds and over there by Oliver we've got the trophy winner as well. So the, the, the fireworks category for, from the judges is all about that kind of explosion in the mouth of flavours, really quite a strong character wine, also on, on the aromas. So we're going to see how each of those wines perform in the fireworks categories and maybe by giving it a kind of a zero to 10 scoring, 10 yeah. being the most applicable. So we're going to taste first the Minas Amato 2019 from Villa Sandy Prosecco Superior DOCG. Um, we know it very well, we yeah. was there just a few months ago. So the first one, if I can find where to open it, is going to be from Italy and it's the bronze medal for the fireworks category. So I'll make sure I don't point this in your direction. see how this performs in fireworks because surprising as it is it's Prosecco now, I don't know how that's going to be fireworks wise but we'll, we'll find out okay we've got our Lehman glasses we really do like these glasses don't we yeah from Lehman so wonderful glasses for tasting sparkling wines especially in thanks to Lehman glasses right let's uh, see how the fireworks are cracking and with the fireworks category, it's not sort of like it like into spices, it's a spicy aroma. This could be just an explosion of fruit flavours, or it could be an explosion of like, that's good toasty or nutty flavours. Yes, very true. Yeah, because each time we used to do like creamy or we've got fruity flavours, as you say, this is just how strong those flavours are. So it's very right. We're not actually smelling the smoke from a firework going up, it's how expressive the wine is. So, very good point. So already with this one, it's, it's very fresh fruit, green fruits, but yellow pear, yellow apple, green stone fruits. Very sweet aromas coming through. Yeah, I agree. A burst of flavours, creamy flavours, succulent fruits, as if you're literally biting into a, a yellow apple. It's incredible. When it comes to being that explosion, it's there. It's not too much, but it certainly is there. If you're looking for a quality Prosecco, this is holding all of those components to make this happen. Yeah, it's like a controlled, creamy, ripe fruit explosion. Yeah, I would say. So we've got that word explosion, fireworks, kind of the same kind of description. But I'm going to say this is the lower side, 3.5 to 3.5 to 4. I'd say four. You're going to go for a four, but really good. I do love the, the Prosecco from Villa Sandy. Always reliable to be creamy and fruit driven. So next we're going to do, which is the label of Universe, and it's the Motzenbecker, so it's from Germany, and it's the Riesling Brut. So it's the sect, which is uh, the German for sparkling wine. So the Motzenbecker, another bronze medal. Silver. Silver, that's why I've got Oliver here, to tell me where I'm going wrong. Silver. Now this is going to be rising, so this is going to be a totally different flavour. An aroma to the Prosecco. There we go. Motzenbecker Universe. And a silver medal at the 2020 Glass of Bubby Awards for the category of fireworks. Hmm. This is, I mean, I, I just cut the lawn this morning. I was spending an hour or so cutting the, the, the garden's uh, grass, but also the nettles down there. And this is what I'm getting into freshly cut grass alongside those green nettles, you know, the ones you don't want to touch, you can get a sting from. But that kind of fresh expression with the touch of the petroleum, certainly alive and kicking on the aromas. I'm also getting sort of like a 
A green sherbet. Green sherbet? What's under there? Green sherbet? Is that a sweet they have? Oh, I feel like the apple flavour, possibly. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I get where you're coming from, yeah. It is that, isn't it? It's very, very expressive on the nose, very expressive, but it's, it's oily, it's creamy and oily as well. Smooth, silky, plenty of fruits, green fruits, carrying on with that freshly cut grass, herbal character, foliage. Although it is smooth, it also has sort of, sort of a fireworks. It comes in strong, mm. but smooth. Well, maybe from the bubbles, I'm getting the bubbles are quite along the tongue, they're tingling along the tongue with the citrus, the lime kind of zest in there. So maybe, but again, I'm gonna, it's, it's a lovely wine. I do like the Risings, uh, I really do. Um, I would say it's a lower side, it's a 3.5 to four again. I'm gonna go 3.5 alongside the, the VS Handy. I'd go for, yeah, 3.5. You're gonna go for that one. But you could spend so, so, so much time literally on the aromas from this. Really is good. So now we're going over to the Trento, the Trento region, and a wine that I do like. Uh, this is the 2011 Brut, um, and this is, sorry, this is Cantina Rotelliana, and 12.5% Italy. So the northern part of Italy, the Trento region, uh, the Dolomites, the, the kind of mountain, alpine freshness, a beautiful region of Italy, one must visit. And we're on to the gold medal. Gold medal. So gold medal uh, in the category of fireworks. Cantina Rotelliana. This is going to be a tough one. I can feel it already. So a traditional method, Metallo Classico. I love the aroma. He usually is on this one, this is really it's special. I've got like oh, yes, oh. lemon drizzle cake. Lemon? Drizzle cake. What's a drizzle cake? I've not had one of them. I had a lemon cake with some sort of, uh, I think, um, some icing on it. You're not ordering these things and keeping them in the fridge and either it's fine or something, are you? You're not hiding them away from you. No. Lemon drizzle cake. <laughs> cool, that is wonderful on the nose. That is really, you've got, it's certainly a pastry, it's certainly a cake of some format. Lovely colour, a lovely warm, uh, like yeah, fresh, only kind of warm golden colouring to a hint of green, but it's wonderful, wonderful colour. And the last day with the white background. It sort of smells like you're in a... A bakery, like a cake, cake baking. I'm going to go alongside down the apple, the apple type of apricot cake, glazed apple apricot cake. But certainly pastry, wonderful on the nose. I'm just going to put some more in because I've been swirling it around a lot and it's got a touch flap. So put a bit in here. It's dry, is this an extra brute? This, this is a brute reserve. So it's quite dry in, in a flavour. It's citrusy, it's fresh, crisp. I've got minerals in, in the mouth, certainly citrus flavour. It's quite different to what you would expect the flavour to be after enjoying the aroma. Good, nothing, nothing wrong with it. Very, very elegant, probably for fine dining. Um, fine dining, this is for. It's wonderful. As it got that kind of fireworks character, it's quite, it's expressive. The nose is wonderfully expressive, and maybe that's what the judge is fell in love with. The flavour is probably a tone down. I'm going to give it a touch more than here. I'm going to go for the 4.5 on the fireworks for the Cantina Rotelliana. Does it have to be like explosive or just? A lot of different. 
Well, I think we use the word fireworks, but that could be expressive. So in, in that way that it's really showing you a, a, a character that you can really recognise from the aroma or the flavours. So it's, it's a personal thing. Wine's a very personal thing. What one person likes, another may not. So there's no real correct or wrong when it comes to what you enjoy in a wine. And when it, with the judges, they have very hearty discussions at the table to decide should a wine be in a cat, one category or another. Some people may see things in one way and not in another. And um, so it's, it's a personal thing. It's how you feel it expresses itself. I say I touched more than the two previously. So hence, obviously, it's had a step up and it's into the gold. Yeah, it does have it's a lot to offer. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful, on the nose is, you just want to spend a good 10 minutes on the nose before you drink it. I'd probably give it a five, I think. You're going to give it a five, okay. So I gave it a four, really, didn't I? A step up. I gave it a four. So we're going to go here for, I think this is the only rose uh, winner, which is the Vinska Colette de Bevec, and it's a Panina. And this is the Barbara, Barbara Rose 2019. And 11.6%, quite precise, yes, 2019. And this is Slovenian. So we're going to give this a go. I can't remember, I'm looking at the bottle to see, have I tasted this before? Sometimes I recognise the bottle and I know I've tasted it, but I'm not sure if I did get a chance to taste this one. So we're going to do that now. Lovely rosé colour, lovely warmer rosé colour into it. Almost a red colour. Let's give this a go. So this is the only rosé, and it is again a gold fireworks. Lovely colour. Yeah. What are you getting on the nose? Red berries. You're getting red berries, yeah. Strawberries, raspberries. Yes, now it's starting to come in. I was a little bit, but I lost it. I, had, I couldn't get anything from the nose, so I was hoping that you would inspire me. So now it's coming through. I'm not sure if I'm getting a toastiness. No, I, I didn't get an awful lot on the nose. If I, then I've gone straight into the flavour. And the flavour is quite expressive. It's, it's sweeter style. Fruity, free, uh, sweeter style with a cup, touch of pastry to it. No is less expressive for me, but the flavour, the colour is the kind of attracts attracts you in the wonderful rose colour into the wine, but it's the flavour for me. It's still it's not overly wow, uh, an explosion, but it's got a good character. Yeah, it's uh, the flavour's reminding me of a like a uh, strawberry on a little little cake. Like, um, Fairy cake, something like that? Or no, something more like fresh strawberry. Like, yeah. Like from a boutique... Uh, a patisserie type of thing. Yes, I know what you say. So the fresh strawberries on the cake. It is that. It, it is a freshness to it. Fresh strawberries, I think it's good. Raspberry, strawberry on a fluffy kind of cake for me. Maybe a sponge cake. It's got, it's got that flavour. It's, it's got a very good character in the flavour. The nose is a, is a little bit... Soft for me. It's very light on, on the palate. Mm. It's a lovely, lovely wine. It really is. It's very different in, in, in contrast to the others. It's fruity, it's sweet, and we are at a brute with this one, are we? Rose. Uh, I assume it's got a higher sugar level in it, but it's not certainly not a dessert wine. But it's, it's nice, it's very. It's for, what would you say? It's, it's a burst of fruit. For yeah, this one. burst of red fruit. It's sweet, it's, but it's not too much. It's no, it's not. Balance. It's got a good balance. Yeah, I agree. So I'm going to give it a four. We're staying below the fifty percent here for me. So it's a four for me. I'd give it a three. You're going to give it a three, okay? It's three. What about the Ferrari? You want to give the Ferrari a go? Yeah. The uh, Maximum de Blanc, de Blanc um, Trento Doc. Brute. Brute. So obviously the Ferrari, you, you mentioned this the other day in the, in the video, the news video, that they're 
sponsoring the Formula One. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So that on the podium. So three years ago, you know, they were using I think the old uh, Motion lot. Over recent years, it's changed hands with a few different sponsors, and well, the Ferrari is on the podium sometimes, probably alongside a Ferrari. Winning. Yeah. I yeah. think the first bottle was opened by Max Verstappen. Was it Verstappen? Don't really? quote me on it. I think okay. so. Okay. Well, who's he driving for? Do you know? Is he still? Is he with the? I think. Bull, uh, not Bull, um, Red Bull. I think so. Look at that. The the bubbles on this is just um, a wonderful layer of bubbles. Ooh. Yes, so there we've got a very strong character coming through. This is a gold medal as well. Gold medal. So from the Trento region again, northern Italy. It is, yes, it's a very, it's a quality one. This is telling you gastronomy as well. The nose, I've got a toastiness. I've got a yellow fruit toastiness, but quite mineral Alpine freshness to the wine. Totally a toasty character. Yeah, yeah, I get that. So getting a hint of burnt toast. Just a hint. So, so it's been in the toaster for a bit, a bit longer for you. Yeah, yeah. Citrus flavours in there, minerals, crisp, fresh. Very Again, you've got that Alpine. Their, their, their vineyards are quite high in, in the region of Trento. Some of them are, I think, the highest uh, in Europe for the Trento, the Alto region, the Trento region. But it's, it's a good, it's, it's quite alive with flavours especially, nose as well. It's, it's got a good character, very expressive. Yeah, I think I would give this one a six. Mm. I'm going to do six. I'm going to agree with you. The six, but this is going to go with some nice foods. Next is the Fox and Fox tradition, Blanc de Noirs, 2014 Brut. So we did, we did have, the, they actually entered a magnum for the award, so it's actually the magnum that's taken home the, the gold medal. We don't have that because they were both used for the judging. So we've got a standard size bottle, so we're going to taste this, but we have to think in our minds, Give it a, a little push up because the magnum always tastes better than the standard bottles. So we're going to give this one an open. This is a uh, winemaker, a lady winemaker. Jonica. Down in Mayfield, southern part of England, English sparkling wine, gold medal, fireworks category. That's all of that. Ooh, punchy. Cool, yeah. This is kind of an English country garden, everything from floral notes to the gooseberries to orchard fruits. Yeah. And then a, a touch of honeysuckle pastry, kind of buttery pastry. This is uh, really, really good. So it's, it's similar to, say, say the, the Bottegliana here, the northern part of Italy, Trento, which some, in many ways Trento sometimes is similar to, to Champagne. And this is coming out on the nose like a Champagne, a vintage Champagne. And this is just a normal size spot or so. Oh yes, yeah, so true, we have to edge this up a little bit. So if that was the case, wow, this is gonna be special. The nose is great, it's another one. Just like the, the, the Rotelliana here, you, I can't get over the nose. Nutty, I've got nuttiness coming through, a touch of um, hazelnut. I better get on with the taste, don't I? So. Mm. It's a different character in the flavour compared to the nose. This is what, what would you say this is? This is um, citrus. Is a citrus? What um, else is there? Something in there? Yellow floral. Hmm. I'd agree. A citrus, a yellow floral. There's a dryness. There's a touch of sea breeze character to it. But there's certainly the the citrus. It could even be a citrus cake, but quite a dry citrus cake. 
um, again, it, this would be really good to cut through certain foods, complement certain dishes. There's a, a long, elegant finish to the wine as well. It carries on and on at a consistent level and it just slowly fades away. So I've got a very good length to this wine. Yeah. Do you think this would pair well with a dessert? Um, depends what dessert. I think that could be a touch clashy there. I don't know. It would depend what that dessert is. Could be. Potentially other, maybe something like it's for too much reminding me of. Now you said dessert, this is reminding me of a lemon sorbet. So it's a certain like an ice cream, but it's not as creamy, it's a little bit more watery, should I say. Mm -hmm. If you taste lemon, I don't know if you ever have actually saying that. It's this is what this is reminding me of, and it's a very lively flavor. Is it fireworks? Is it expressive? It is so far, it's the most. I'm going to give this about 7.5. I'll give it a 7. Okay, so we kind of agree on there. Considering this probably should be pushed up, I'm going to put it to an 8. Because this is not the magnum. Yeah, in that case, I would say an 8 as well. Okay, this is the leader so far, the Fox and Fox. So the last one, we're going to pop over to Champagne Ultra. So a lovely box presentation. This is a 2012 uh, vintage. Uh, so winemaker uh, is Mr. Ultra, is Law. Uh, it's a family business. That's it, and I think started with his grandfather back in the 1950s. His father continues it, and now Law is the winemaker who's running quite a successful brand. That they they grow massively, uh, and usually that they won medals and trophies at our awards. So there's something that our judges seem to like about their champagne because they're always picked out. So Law, a young guy making really good wines, 55 hectares I believe so although they're a smaller winery they, they are producing quite a lot and then they've got um, Premier Crew and Grand Cru if I remember correctly all different regions Horton Villiers over to A so a good selection of vineyards this is the uh, Grand Cru Millicent 2012 that's it 2012 I think this is is this the Pinot Noir did it say on the back one is this Pinot Noir driven Pinot Noir is Chardonnay, yeah, and I think I think it's uh, more concentrated on the Pinot Noir. Lovely, already lovely look to the wine, very small strings of bubbles everywhere. And this is the trophy winner for the category Fireworks. Very good, very expressive, expressive on the nose. Soft lemon, white floral. I've kind of got like a dusty kind of mushroom as well to it, but not in a negative way. Fruits coming in, lots of fruits coming in. Peach, I've got peach coming in, maybe even peach compote, apricot compote, apricot jam. The kind of bond, yeah. mammal. I'm getting a jammy sort of texture. texture. So this is nine years old. I can see why. Yeah, it's it's fresh, crisp, citrus. It's clean, very clear, very young. Although being nine years old, it's very very young. I'm getting a, a very touch of white pepper to it as well. But it's expressive. It's very expressive. It's very fireworks in its in its way. But the word expressive comes to mind with this. This would again be very good with gastronomy, fatty dishes. Uh, it would just cut through those the, the fat to, to, to deliver the quality of the wine along with the food. It's a good acidity to the wine, mm -hmm. it's a good length, and it's mouth watering all the way through. Yeah, I agree with that. It's a really good champagne. Yeah. Well, we were there again a few months ago. So, going places, the winery getting bigger, as I say. Law is the winemaker, trophy winner for the fireworks category for 2020. Uh, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it shoulder to shoulder with the the Fox and Fox. I'm going to give it an eight. With the Fox and Fox.
I'm going to give it a seven. You're going to give it a seven, so you're sticking with the fox, and fox is the winner. Yeah. Mm. They're all really good. We think we've got the Villa Sandy here, the Prosecco flavours. We have the Watson Backer with the Riesling, we have the Trento, we have the Barbara label here, the Ferrari, the Fox and Fox and the Ultra. They're all very unique in their own way. So it's a wonderful selection of different styles of flavours. Yeah. Because obviously we've got Champagne. We had two Trento winners, one English, one Slovenian, one German and another from Italy but from the Prosecco region. Uh, overall winner, it was going to have to be the Fox and Fox because it, on average it's, it's, it's a half point ahead. Um, on the Star and one, that's on the fireworks. And we've just given yeah. the Fox and Fox an edge over the Ultra, but they're very, very similar. What about Star and one? What if you had to take home one of these bottles and you can't take any, even though you know some of these people, you just have to be right, I'm taking home one of these bottles. It would be the Fox and Fox. You're taking home the Fox and Fox, okay. I'm going to take, um, and it's difficult in it because you, you, I've been to a few of these places. I'm going to go with my heart and I'm going to take the Cantina Rotaliana, the 2011. So you're, you're taking home a piece of England yeah. and I'm taking home a piece of Italy. And oh, another good tasting fireworks category, Glass of Rewards 2020, medal winners and the trophy winners. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching.